Hi, I'm Paul from Myra Showers, and in this video, we'll be taking you through a step-by-step -step installation of the Myra Elite SE Dual Pumped Electric Shower. Available as a single outlet model, as well as a dual outlet, which we'll be installing in this video, the Myra Elite SE Dual is ideal to install as a new installation, but has also been designed to retrofit all previous models of the Myra Elite, as well as the Triton T90 SR. Like the single outlet version, the Myra Elite SE Dual can have the fittings kit installed to the left or to the right of the shower unit by up to a 300mm radius from the outlet. You can plan this out as part of your installation. Before undertaking the installation of any electrical product, we would always advocate the safe isolation of the electrical supply and the installation to be completed by a suitably competent person. The water supply should also be isolated. Ideal for use on new and for retrofit installations, the template can be used to mark out the water and electrical points for first fixes, or for using the existing services as a reference point before marking the fixing points to secure the shower unit to the wall. The final adjustments to the water supply can then be made, ensuring that any soldering is completed before the shower unit is fixed to the wall. Before connecting the shower unit, the pipework should also be flushed through to remove debris or to remove any corrosive fluxes remaining from soldering. The Elite SE Dual is designed for connection to low pressure gravity fed cold water supplies. The wall can then be drilled and the shower unit secured to the wall using the fixing supplied or those more appropriate for the wall material if necessary. Using a stud detector will help ensure that no surfaces are damaged within the cavity of the wall through drilling. The final connection to the water supply can then be made, taking care to support the filter housing with an additional pair of water pump pliers as the fitting is tightened. This prevents any pressure being exerted on the plastic shower case or the flow valve assemblies. The water supply can then be reinstated and any potential leaks detected. The final electrical connection can also be made through terminating the twin and earth cable into the shower terminal block. These connections will be made to ensure that they are sufficiently tight to prevent damage to the shower whilst under load. The electrical supply should comply with BS7671. The service tunnel and shower cover can then be secured into place using the cover screws supplied. There is no requirement to seal around the shower with silicon. Before installing the diverter kit, it's useful to pre-assemble this and to identify a suitable height and location for fixing. Be sure to include the clamp bracket and hose retaining ring when doing so. The diverter assembly can be located up to 300mm from the shower connection, either side of the shower owing to the patented diverter which allows the outlet to swivel 180 degrees. Longer diverter hoses are also available should these be required. Having decided on the location of the fittings kit, the diverter backplate can then be secured into place, drilling the wall and through securing in place using the fixings supplied or those more appropriate for the wall material if necessary. Using a stud detector will help ensure that no surfaces are damaged within the cavity of the wall through drilling. The diverter assembly is held into place using a grub screw which is concealed on the underside of the diverter. The diverter rail assembly can then be held to the wall to locate the fixing point required for the backplate assembly. Take care to fully insert the rail assembly into the diverter in order to obtain the correct reference points. The backplate assembly can then be marked, the wall drilled and secured into place using the fitting supplied or those more appropriate for the wall material if necessary. Using a stud detector will help in avoiding damage to services within the cavity of the wall through drilling. The rail assembly can then be reinserted into the diverter to be secured into place. Place the backplate cover on the rear of the rail assembly before securing and clip into place for a flush finish. The grub screw can then be tightened to ensure that the assembly is fully secure. The diverter assembly can be left loose to allow it to be repositioned by the user, 
or locked into place using a securing grub screw located at the rear of the rail assembly. The diverter assembly can then be connected to the shower unit using the shorter diverter hose. The longer hand shower hose can also be connected and the handset secured into the clamp bracket, taking care to thread the hose through the hose retainer ring to comply with water regulations. The deluge head can also be secured and then hand tightened to achieve a watertight seal. Before reinstating the electrical supply, the Myra Elite SE must always be commissioned post installation. This is made easy using the clean flow filter and bleed valve located on the pump housing. Full details can be found in the installation manual. After commissioning, the electrical supply can then be reinstated and the shower functionality fully tested. The Myra Elite SE Jewel is now ready for use.